Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. How are you doing this morning? I hope you're doing well. Sorry, I'm a little late. And uh, I'll get this started as soon as I can. I was just watching video. Sorry. All right. Uh, good morning, Mom. Hope you're doing well. Good morning, Miss Vo. Good morning, Sherry. It's a beautiful day. So 2 Thessalonians 3, 3 is our verse today. Good morning, Curtis. Check this out. But the Lord is faithful. He will establish you and guard you against the evil one. Um, I was reading this morning. I was actually watching a, a newscast this morning. Um, that's why I wasn't like 10 seconds earlier than 6 o'clock. <laughs> so I usually get in here, get out a little bit earlier to get this started so that as you guys are coming on I'm just talking but I got involved in watching a a newscast about situations around the country I'm not going to talk about them I really want to but I'm not this is not what this is all about but this verse kind of makes me think of it but I'm not going to talk about it because but the Lord is faithful he is. He's faithful on all accounts. He's faithful in so many different ways. You think about your life. You think about how he's so faithful. When you look around and how he's been faithful in the good times, the bad times. And then it says he will establish you and guard you against the evil one. He will establish you and guard you against the evil one man that is so true he will establish you and guard you against the evil one i am so glad as we are followers of christ that he has established us and guards us against the evil one um there has been places that i've traveled that have been uh, down and right evil <laughs> and the Lord has always protected me um, I've been in conversations about that um, you know I've my kids have always grown up in a small town and and so when we ever traveled in a bigger city I've always kind of taught them to be observant of the, their surroundings. And and so we would always be so be careful. Make sure you know what's going on around you at all times. And so we were, uh, Gloria and I were in uh, Anaheim and Louisville, those two cities. And I says, what do you see? And I think we were in Anaheim a several years ago and and we were watching and a gentleman behind came up right behind us i had glory in front of me and and uh he walked right up and asked me for money and uh and i and i knew what he had he had a beer and i said sir i says uh yeah you, if you can afford money, if you can afford beer, <laughs> you, you should have bought yourself a sandwich, you know. <laughs> so uh, I would have bought him a sandwich. Um, but uh, I don't give money to that. And and you might seem, think that's really cold, but, uh, um, but uh, I just, but I knew, and Glory didn't realize that he was behind us until after I told her. But uh, I always, you know, be observant. And, and, you know, 
He's always guarding us. He's always protecting us. He's always, the Lord is always with us when you think about it. And he's always guarding us and he's protecting us. He's establishing us. It's, it's, he's with us at all times. You think about it. And that was just an example that I knew this gentleman was right behind me. Not, and you think, well, you could have smelt him. No, actually, you know, he was well taken care of. Uh, and, uh, he, he, I knew he was a homeless guy and you just, you say, well, you're just assuming you should have smelled him. No, no, actually, um, it was, uh, I just, and then I had a good, I had a conversation with him why I was talking to him behind me. And so, um, the very fact is the Lord has given me the ability to talk just about to anyone. And, uh, but he's always protected me and he has always guarded me. He has always established. But the very fact is, the Lord has always been faithful. You think about that. Think about your life. Think about you as a person and all the situations that you have been in and how you, you yourself, God has always been faithful to you. You're saying, well, there's that one time he wasn't really faithful. Really, has he just left you or has he just kind of, you felt like he wasn't really there? I would dare to say he was there. He just didn't show up in the way that you wanted him to show up. And <laughs> why do I say that? Because sometimes we have this idea of the way we define or expect him to show up. I'm so sorry about that, uh, Sherry, that happened. I'm glad you came out of it, and I'm sorry that you have seizures from that. God is going to heal you from that. I believe that. And uh, God is faithful. Um, the Lord is so big and so great and so awesome. And he gets us through. And, and 2 Thessalonians 3.3, 3, but the Lord is faithful. He is faithful to the very end. And so I, he will establish you and guard you against the evil one. And, and then... <clears throat> Then we think that now, since Sherry brought that up, we, the evil one is sometimes we think of is is like what Sherry went through. The evil one is here on earth. The evil one is the enemy, the devil, the 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 demons, those that attack in the spiritual realm as well. But the Lord will protect us, you know, and so. He'll protect us there. We we have to have a good prayer life. And a lot of times when we travel, my family travel, we pray for protection as we travel. And the Lord has protected us. And so, I really got to, uh, as I read that, Sherry, I'm going to pray for you today on that. I am so sorry that happened back then. That is... Um, that's not good. So, Second Thessalonians three three. If you have a notebook, got mine. Is uh, says this. Write this verse out. But the Lord is faithful, and He will establish you and guard you against the evil one. Write that verse out. Put an O. Observe it. A. Apply it to your life. P. Pray. And uh, so we're going to pray. And the very first person I'm going to pray for this morning is you, Sherry. Uh, that that you're dealing with these seizures from it. From this mugging and back in 96. I'm going to pray for that. A couple things we're going to pray for is my father-in-law. He's not doing so good right now. 
My father's not doing so good right now. So we're going to pray for those. We're going to pray for my friend Carol. We're going to pray for Aunt Chris. And uh, so let's pray. If you, Let's pray right now for Sherry. Guys, you know what to do. Lord, I pray right now for Sherry. Lord, you see these things she's been dealing with from 96, from this mugging. Lord God, I pray in the name of Jesus that, Lord God, you are the, the healer of this these seizures that have been just haunting him just been been coming after her and lord god i just right now begin to ask that you heal her of this thing that what when this happens these seizures i pray that lord that you begin to heal begin to bring back in alignment begin to take away begin to just fix Lord, it's been a long time back there in 96 that this took place. But Lord God, you can take it all, take it, you can fix it, you can work it out. But Lord, I pray and I speak peace in the Sherry's life, Lord God, in this situation. Lord God, you are in control. You are God of all. And Lord God, that you are the fixer. And Lord, I thank you that, Lord God, it is by your stripes that she is healed in Isaiah 53, 5. And you are the great physician. Speaks that through the word. And Lord, I just thank you that, Lord, that you can take care of this. And I thank you for that. And Lord, I pray for Aunt Chris, Lord God, that you um, heal her. Lord, I pray for my father-in-law, God, that you see the state that he's in. And Lord God, I pray that you just touch him, Lord God. And that you minister to him. Lord, I pray for my father, that Lord, that you heal him. I pray for my mother-in-law, that you, you give her peace and rest. And you be with my mom, that you give her strength and rest. And Lord, that you be with Carol, and that you give you heal his body. And Lord God, that you just do. Um, I pray for this friend that uh, Curtis has that is uh, dealing with heart AFib twice and following a surgery i pray that lord that you just bring this heart back into place and lord god <laughs> you can fix this all together and lord god you can make it work the heart work right and lord god i thank you that lord that you are the healer and lord i thank you i thank you lord god you are amazing and I praise you for that today. And Lord, we just give you all praise and honor, Lord God. I pray for the unspokens that we all have, Lord God. Whether it's finances or health or the numerous other things, Lord God. We just we just give them to you. Lord, we ask that uh, you help us to be a blessing to those that we come in contact with. And Lord God, we just say thank you. That we can be a blessing. And we ask that you give us the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody today, Lord. In your name, amen. So before you go, I just want to invite you to church on Sunday. It is Father's Day. So uh, join us at 10 o'clock on Facebook Live or YouTube. At, and uh, Facebook Live is for some of the God, Burlington, Kansas. And uh, YouTube is Tim Hammy. And uh, we'll be having a Father's Day service. And then in that evening, we're doing a special Church on the Couch Father's Day edition. And uh, so it's a lot of fun. And so I want to invite you to that. But today is the last day for our devotions this week. So if you don't catch us on Sunday, you can catch us next month. Catch me on Monday at 6 a.m. God bless you. Have a great rest of your weekend. Love you guys. We'll catch you later. Have a great day.